Guys, today I have for you perhaps one of the best PvP and PvE setups in the game and with some slight modifications this setup can fit any goddamn playstyle. On top of that, your St. Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle will have more than 100 bullets in a magazine and that by itself will make you a pure powerhouse. You're gonna delete chungus and elite enemies like there is no tomorrow, you're gonna call control enemies really easily, you're gonna reduce incoming damage and amplify your damage on top of that crazy crazy fireworks. I mean the goodies are keep coming with this setup and especially if you will use technician specialization and obliterate Helen, the sky is the limit and if I have to be honest true patriot gear set which I am using right in this one has been my favorite gear set in the game since day one it's simple as that I'm having a blast running true patriot gear set and if you're gonna pair it up with ninja bike backpack you will have not only tons of armor, armor reaper slash regen as well skill tiers which will make our skills pretty decent for legendary difficulty the main reason why we are using assault right here which by the way has 4 slash 5 skill tiers to distract enemies and deal some damage and assault right has much more health than decoy our shield is at maximum possible skill power so I mean this build just keeps giving and we have tons of debuffs we have tons of damage we have tons of utility and like I said with some modifications you can fit this setup to PvP as well. But before we continue, quick word from the sponsor Deving.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through account sharing. This service has been working for many, many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code Airbidip, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all service. Amazing deal, especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on. So definitely check these guys out. But now let's get back to this true patriot legendary PvP PV setup. And like I said, with some slight modifications, you can run this build in both aspects of the game. For PvP, what you want to do here is simply reroll skill damage attribute for crit damage or crit chance. Once you reach 50% crit chance, invest everything in crit damage. 50% crit chance I think is bare minimum to use with obliterate talent and you're gonna stack it really really quickly especially with high rate of fire assault rifles such as St. Elmos and Famas. And you can keep those stacks alive pretty non-stop or I shall say all the time. And if you want to be updated with all the best PvP PV builds, smash the top, you want to be at this spot. So without wasting your precious time, let's dive into this one. For specialization, I'm using technician. Technician specialization will give us extra skill tier, and it's really important sometimes in PvP to reach three skill tier uh, mark to take out skill build runners with your gemmer pools. If there is no skill build runners in conflict or DZ, use firewall specialization. Flamethrower is still broken in conflict, and Medkit will provide you with some decent armor regen paired up with True Patriot Gerset. Definitely is a must try. So you have two options there, it depends on situation you are in. For legendary difficulty again, technician specialization is the way to go because you will have extra skill damage, skill tear and disrupt grenades. Disrupt grenades are extremely handy against war machine chungus healing stations. And you can switch your shield actually for artificial hive for lazy runs. You can sit behind the cover, artificial hive will heal your assault turret, will make it immortal basically. and you can make this duo and kill everything on site. So simple as that. Two options and you have tons and tons of utility with this one. For the guns though, I'm using St. Elmo's Engine Exotic Assault Rifle. It has a really high rate of fire. It will apply shock effect and now we have more than 100 bullets in magazine. It's basically an LMG. 
disguised in assault rifle and we have one of the best weapon attachments on this bad boy as well we have tons of crit chance and crit damage and like i said for pvp reach at least 50 percent crit chance to be effective with obliterate talent it's simple as that for second weapon for legendary runs strongholds i'm using ak with preservation for extra survivability for pvp you don't need preservation especially for conflict go with famas and optimist we don't uh, need anything else famas highest uh, uh, fire rate in assault rifle class optimist one of the best talents in pvp right now and with obliterate works really well together high rate of fire high crit chance and lots of damage and increased uh, magazine size can sometimes be a difference maker trust me so simple as that ak with preservation for legendary strongholds famas with optimist for pvp and you can switch those guns on the fly by the way so you don't have to do anything crazy here, just hold two guns in your backpack or stash and that's it. So for the year, again, two slight modifications. For legendary runs, I'm using True Patriot gear set with skill damage attribute. As you see, my True Patriot mask with skill damage. For PvP content, you can reroll skill damage for crit chance or crit damage. If you have reached 50% crit chance, then invest everything in crit damage damage armor regen is nice but it's not necessary so if you feel that you don't need more crit damage and you have reached already 50% crit chance you can leave some rolls with extra armor regen but I would recommend you to invest everything in DPS and I'm using two pieces from Arcabus gear Picaro's name and holster as well and since we are using ninja bag backpack it will unlock us three third the third buff from gear set itself and that will provide us with extra skill tier skill haste and increased magazine size true patriot gear set by itself will increase our magazine size even further and that's the reason why we have more than 100 bullets with our saint almos and trust me those 100 bullets with shock effect in dark zone can cause some mayhem absolutely disgusting nasty and legendary difficulty it's also pretty goddamn OP. It's super dope combination. True Patriot Gear Set of course will apply debuffs such as uh, reduced incoming damage, amplified TO damage and extra armor regen slash repair with white flags. Ninja Bike Backpack will give us that uh, full gear set uh, buffs by using only three pieces from True Patriot Gear Set. Uh, for the skills I'm using shield with my assault turret best combination i think we have tons of survivability shield has a maximum skill power our assault turret can reach five skill tiers easily and you can reroll some armor core attributes for extra weapon damage and skill damage if you need extra skill tiers easy easy build to use and yeah butcher drops the mic see you in the next one bye